welcome back to another creepy story. This just happened like two minutes ago before I started filming. I was upstairs in the room with my dad while he was watching some of my YouTube videos. I told him, how do you like them? He said, I like them a lot. And I was in the room with them. I didn't hear anything. But then when I went out, I heard things being moved. I heard things being shoved around. I heard papers being thrown around. And I saw papers flying. One of my dad's favorite pictures was there of his dog, Timber. It was just lying on the floor, ripped apart. I, I just told him it ripped, probably from being so old, so to get him some tape but I knew that wasn't the thing. There was something seriously wrong, and I know my house is haunted, but I haven't told my parents. Then, that's when, that's when I suddenly noticed I walked in the room and I could still hear my voice in the background talking. But, and then I heard a voice that sounded just like me copying what I said. I said, probably nothing. And then I heard a voice echo back, it's probably nothing, right back. I just looked around, I didn't see anything. I was just like, it must be something. There's gotta be something here, I thought. There's gotta be a clue to this. As I looked at the bright moon in the distance, far away, the moon was far, but, it wasn't far enough for me to not see in the range of where I was. And I just looked up at the moon. I thought there was something suspicious about it. It looked at me, kind of like staring at me. It looked at me. And then it started moving. And then it looked at me again. I don't know what was wrong, but I immediately turned around and just went back into my dad's room. And I told him, I wonder what happened. And my dad said, the, the papers are getting old and they're just probably ripping because they're in big piles and things could be moving. And moving around while someone's, walk, while someone's in there. I knew my mom wasn't in there. She was in the kitchen cleaning off the ditches. Probably a hard work for someone that does chores every time, every time we're done dinner. It was probably hard, but I still knew that there was something wrong. It was still midday, but I knew this, it wasn't a haunted hour. So I knew this wasn't something that was normal. So I just turned around and started moving down to get you guys. And then, before I could, I heard a laugh echo. It sounded like mine. My laugh is kind of darkened when I'm laughing really hard. And sometimes I snort like a pig. But I knew this laugh wasn't mine. It sounded like <laughs> And then I just, I just looked around, scared as heck. I was, I was even startled by the sound of the, of my own laugh. But that wasn't me. I know it. I don't laugh like that. I know, whatever this was, it's not normal. And as I looked outside, I saw these two kids standing outside. They have black shirts on. Strange around here, I thought. Not many people around here have black shirts. Black is kind of a color around here that you don't see too much in my town. So it was kind of weird. It's like black is like a creepy color. Nobody was on the street. There were papers and stuff torn on the street. There were stuff and trash ripped apart, trash cans thrown on the middle of the street. What could be wrong? 
They they even scratched up. There was some our trash can was all scratched up on the road, probably hit by a car or something. But I knew this wasn't normal. I didn't open the door to be afraid of what they might do. Then they t pushed their hoodie. I wasn't frightened instantly by them until I saw their eyes. Their eyes were as black as coal, vacant but black, all black, just staring at me in the window. I just, I just slammed the curtains. My mom ran over and said, what is wrong? And I said, sorry, I accidentally shut them too, too hard. Before, before I could grab you guys, I opened the door. It creaked. And then it echoed. I don't know, guys, but this sounds like something I should investigate. I'm not telling anyone, but if my mom watches this, I still know this is probably a bad thing. And right now, even as I'm making this video, I could hear footsteps behind me walking as I walk. When I walk from now on, I always hear footsteps behind me. Ever since me and my dad went to a graveyard, I heard the grass moving slowly behind me. My dad wasn't even behind me. He was right in front of me. It was far behind me, I could tell by the way it was right behind me. I said I'm not gonna look back cause there's something following us. My dad looked back, there was nothing. This must lead to something. Guys, if you have any answers to any of this, tell me. If you see any kids with black hoodies and a black shirt on with and covering their face, and they pull their hoodie and they have black eyes. Run into your room and lock the door. So tight. Don't open the door for them. People have reported going missing due to opening their door to these kids who have opened the door to the, to where their death 